Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our webinar. Today's webinar is on addressing problematic produce cutting applications. And my colleague, Darren Scott, out of Montreal, Canada, will be presenting some of the challenges associated with processing fruits and vegetables and how DeVille and our European partner, FAM, can help medicate some production pitfalls. There's a Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. Simply click to submit your questions. And we have reserved some time to take your questions at the end of the presentation. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Darren. Thank you very much, Anna. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Whatever the nature of your curiosity that prompted you to, sh to be here, it is my hope that you will find the information both purposeful and helpful to the work you do and the role you play in the produce industry. I have a fair amount of material to cover in a short time together today. So I will try to move swiftly, placing certain emphasis on critical points as we go. I will start with providing some perspective on taking a holistic approach to working with technology partners. I will then review some examples of problematic or challenging food cutting applications related to the fresh uh, produce industry and highlight how we at DeVille and our partner FAM are successfully addressing and overcoming these challenges. So let's get started. So in terms of a holistic approach to industrial food processing solutions, whenever a processor is looking to find that right equipment supplier, it's very important to, uh, when reaching out, uh, to be, uh, it's helpful to keep in mind the following, the following points. Do they have a corporate culture defined by food safety as a core value? Are they experienced with strict product safety regulations related to your respective industry? Are they capable of engineering integrated process systems? Are they application focused towards customized risk min minimizing solutions? Do they have R&D capabilities to develop new improvements to existing technologies? And are they customer centric in their approach and focused on providing gold standard service and support? So like in holistic healthcare, the supplier partner should look at the well being of the entire system and not just simply addressing the symptoms. So let's take a moment in terms of our perspective as a technology supplier to the marketplace, how both the Ville and FAM take our own holistic approach to developing best fit industrial food processing solutions. The process. This process ensures we consider a far reaching spectrum of technical operational variables, including ensuring we remain aware and informed about the most urgent regulatory requirements, provide measurable solution KPIs and responsible ROI. And at the core of our business is a hyper focus on food safety and hygienic design. Battle tested solutions offering the very best in production and performance capabilities, proven solutions that are reliable, easy to use, requiring minimal maintenance and deliver maximum uptime. And finally, keeping an eye to the future, listening to the wishes and change, changing demands of our clients and the industry we support, supporting and influencing our commitment to develop, refine and deliver the very best solutions possible. So before we jump into some specifics, let's just pull back and take a look at the food industry overall. We can highlight three critical challenges common to all food production or processing environments. These will include the first, food buildup and bacteria growth. So our approach to addressing this is through sanitary equipment and sanitary procedures. The second, hard to clean equipment, again, our response, equipment accessibility, and equipment location. And the third, overall maintenance difficulties. Again, our answer, simple process design and system accessibility. So let's take a look at some of the more problematic or challenging food cutting applications tied to the fresh produce industry. The first challenge we'll look at is in tomato dicing. With the work we have done with tomato cutting applications, common complaints and challenges 
we hear include the need for higher capacity, the need for a variability uh, in, in uh, the, the, actually the challenge uh, being the variability in quality and ripeness of the products. Uh, the, also addressing the physical attributes of the tomato itself. The skin can offer, uh, can offer interference with the edge of the slice knife, affect cut quality, impede product flow, and may increase uh, the unscheduled uh, downtime and cleaning requirements. Finally, cutting, uh, cutting process can also release a considerable amount of the juice. This loss of product yield uh, also contributes to a reduction in the overall uh, product shelf life. So how we've addressed it as technology partners with the work we have done with tomato cutting applications, again, we confirm that the tomato can be a challenging fruit to work with. A ripe tomato consists of around 95% water with the other 5% consisting mainly carbohydrates and fiber. This product is complex with a tough outer skin and delicate fleshy interior, making it vulnerable to poorly design and poorly maintained processing systems. We have determined that the quality and sharpness of knives and the cutting path that a tomato takes will have a direct impact on the cut quality, the productive yield, and the viable shelf life of the product. Ultimately, we have addressed these challenges head on, achieving measurable success with our FAM Treatise 240T, T for tomato. One of the keys to our success lies in our specially designed scallop edge slice knife, ensuring a precise, swift cut, working to protect the delicate structure of a tomato and in the process, minimize any release of its liquid. Contributing to our success in cutting tomatoes, the Treatise 240 has been designed with a shortened cutting path, offering a rapid transition from product drum through the three-stage cutting process and offers a discharge chute designed to decelerate the dice product. Finally, the Treatise 240 has an available tomato execution package consisting of, it, of additional seals and guards to minimize any liquid from escaping the dicer, di directing it through the discharge chute where, it, where if required can be directed through downstream systems for collection and further processing. The Treatise 240 offers measurable added value in tomato processing, delivering high cut quality, increased capacity, and maximized product shelf life. These photos shown here clearly reflect the design advancements of our Treatise 240. On the left, an earlier generation of fan dicer, and on the right, a clean production area, demonstrating the effectiveness of the special seals and guards to prevent release of liquid during dicer operation. So in summary, our Treatise 240 high capacity dicer is designed for precise cut quality, food and operator safety, ease of use and maximum throughput capabilities. I could go on in, in much greater detail about the features and benefits of this Treatise 240 and its medium high capacity cousin, the Treatise 180 dicer, However, my colleagues executed an informative demonstration of our treatise dicers earlier in this week during the United Fresh Live event. The video of this demonstration is available for viewing at our show booth. I encourage you to visit with us following our time together to learn more. Let's transition to another challenging cut, uh, cutting application. This one involves the ricing of broccoli and cauliflower. So re reviewing ultimately this, uh, this list of complaints and challenges, including controlling a product flow and method of feeding the machine, uh, controlling cut quality and consistency, reducing any potential off cuts and maximizing production yields. Again, overco overcoming any downtime or production buildup, which is a major complaint. The two approaches involving ricing of broccoli and cauliflower the first, uh, dicing with florets intact, offering a more full or fluffy consistency, popular in the fresh prepared salads. And second, the dicing with florets removed offers a cleaner true rice substitute. 
So with the ricing of broccoli and cauliflower, the most common challenge we hear from processor involves the risk of product buildup in the, in the cutting zone of a dicer and the need to halt production in order to remove product buildup and often make micro adjustments to alignment and clearance between the cutting tool components. With our treatise 240 and 180 dicers, we have successfully addressed these common challenges through a thoughtful redesign of the cutting zone. The shorter cutting path and a set and forget alignment system reduces the chance of product drifting during cutting, offering a smooth, consistent transition from initial slice through the circular and crosscut assemblies, minimizing any opportunity for product buildup and offering precision cut quality and maximizing throughput yields. Our focus is on uptime, cut quality, food safety, and ease of use. Here's a quick look at our set and forget system. It ensures the required slice knife alignment is achieved quickly and without further need for adjustments during production, thus providing accurate transition of the product from the drum through all stages of the cutting zone, producing precision cut quality and ensuring maximum uptime performance. Let's transition to another challenging produce cutting application. This one involves the shredding of root vegetables, perhaps examples such as carrots, beetroot, and broccoli stems. When we delve into the world of shredding of fresh produce, we hear several common complaints or challenges, and these include controlling product flow and method of feeding the machine, the product buildup in the cutting zone of the machines, controlling cut quality and consistency, reducing offcuts and maximizing product yields, and overcoming downtime recalibration and alignment of knife setups. At the left, we see an example of product buildup in the cutting zone. This can cause interruptions with production and and over an extended period of time may lead to build up of heat in the, in the shredded product, posing a potential food safety risk or hazard. FAM has overcome such issues with its thoughtful redesign of the product discharge chamber shown in the image at the right. By extending the spacing relative to the location of the cutting head and altering the overall shape of the chamber, ensures easier product flow and eliminates any opportunity for product buildup. At the heart of the Centris 400 is its revolutionary redesign of the centrifugal cutting head. In comparison to the cutting heads of old, this advancement in cutting technology is nothing short of a game changer for the fresh cut industry. We have directly addressed the common complaints of tapered shreds, off cuts, and fines. The Centris 400 cutting heads ensure consistent uniform shred quality through several thoughtful features, including its set and forget gap chin setup, eliminating any need for any recalibration of the cutting segments or stations. This promotes uptime, reduces maintenance, time and effort, ultimately reducing operating costs, to learn more about this game-changing technology, please join us at our booth. We have a video from the live, gener live demonstration of the Centris 400 and 315 we presented on Wednesday of this week. A true revolu uh, revol uh, evolution in centrifugal cutting technology, the, the Centris 400 has quickly established a new standard in precision cut quality, increased uptime, dramatically reduced maintenance effort, ease of operation, improved pro uh, product feeding, offering 1.5 to two times the throughput capacity compared to existing or legacy shredders in use today. So we can see clearly, here are some clear up close examples of some of the precision cut quality in terms of shred product produced by the Centris 400 solution. These include at the top, carrot shreds, the bottom left, beetroot, and on the right, we have a, a very popular up and coming product, the broccoli, uh, broccoli shreds with using the stems for uh, various mixed slaw products. 
Here are some other additional examples of high cut uh, quality shred produced with, this, with the uh, Treatise 400 and 315. These include cabbage products, turnip shreds, radishes. These are all great for processors that are producing prepared salads and mixed slaw products. Let's have a look yet another challenging application. This, in this instance, this is the slicing of green beans. Based on the work we've done with processors, the biggest complaints that we hear is with product buildup and jamming of slicers and the limited throughput capabilities available with many of the legacy slicers in production use today. In the image at the bottom of the slide, is a sample of traditional hand cut green beans. Inconsistency, inconsistency in the cut length is a constant downside to this type of method. It also is more labor intensive and offers lower production values that can be achieved during a similar time period compared with automated green bean slicing. Our answer to these common complaints and production challenges is our FAM Mantis point two transverse slicer. When we consider the performance of legacy slicers, on average, the bowl style cutters are generating in the neighborhood of half a ton per hour. Our, our Mant Mantis slicer with proper feeding system, including our inline feed shaker, can provide upwards of six tons per hour. That means for those processors seeking to improve production, reduce downtime and maintenance costs, and achieve high cut quality results, we can replace conservatively 10 legacy machines with one Fam Mantis 0.2 slicer. Here are some images I captured from one of our Mantis.2 slicing application videos to highlight the efficiency of our inline feed shaker system to provide controlled, consistent feeding of the green beans onto the driven feed belts of the Mantis slicer. Going from the main conveying process into the shaker feeder, the green beans are transitions, transitioned into three channels and provide the time for the product to properly align and then gently feed into the slicer to engage the slice wheel with a more controlled, consistent fashion, optimizing product flow and producing high cut quality results. The two profiles possible with the Mantis 0.2 slicer. One on the left is the traditional coin cuts shown uh, demonstrating pr production, demonstrating production uh, quality. And the second on the right is a 2D cut. This involves specially designed ju uh, Julian knives offering again a two dimensional cut with each revolution of the slicing wheel. This is very popular for leafy products whether that be iceberg, romaine, or a variety of other lettuce uh, products, and ultimately uh, contributes to high success in the prepared bagged salad market. Here are some additional examples of possible cut results with our Mantis slicer. Uh, we have everything from coin cuts on cucumbers to gherkins or pickles, as well as slices of bell pepper products. The final challenge I'd like to share with you involves the cutting and a, a cutting application that is perhaps left or right of traditional fresh uh, produce cutting. However, it, this involves uh, dry, fry, pro, uh, dry fruit products such as dried cherries, blueberries, and cranberries pictured here. I've really enjoyed the extensive testing and R&D uh, that we've been involved uh, with over the past few years relating to the cutting of dried fruits. This food segment has experienced continuous growth and popularity with a growing number of processors. And I, we list here some common challenges that speak volumes and I'm excited to share with you the success that DeVille and FAM have achieved in this space. These include the challenge with high moisture and natural sugars, making for a sticky consistency of the product, the potential for product degradation in the drum and cutting zone of the dicer due to the production of heat during production process, 
high maintenance and downtime for cleaning and adjustments of machines, the variation in dice quality, and ultimately the limited throughput that's possible with legacy systems. Following testing with several of our dicer solutions, one dicer emerged truly victorious. Our high capacity FAM HiMax dicer, originally designed to provide quality dice results for cheese products, the HiMax solution has been a revelation in overcoming the application challenges I just highlighted. There are several aspects of the HiMax dicer that make it unique, but let's zero in on three that have placed the performance head and shoulders above the rest. Like cheese products, a key characteristic of dried fruits involves high moisture. Then we consider the presence of natural sugars. It is the heavy duty drivetrain of the HiMax dicer that has proven to deliver the muscle power and consistent performance needed to accept the heavy demands of high volume continuous feeding common to the production processes with dried fruits. The image at the far right is a rendering of the, believe it or not, one piece drum offering the unique capacity, uh, capability and capacity to dissipate the heat generated during the demands of high volume feeding. These features, along with a compact cutting path and heavy duty cutting tools, delivers the quality dice results that pro producers and processors of dried fruits are seeking. The image, at the, the image at the left was taken following high volume tests with dried cranberries. Note the limited accumulation of any cut product in the cutting zone of the HiMax. And on the right is a close up sample of the finely diced dried cranberries. True success. With food safety criteria differing from plant to plant and between food production applications, we are proud of our ability to design and manufacture complete solutions, flexibility and customization if needed. In, our, in, our words, in other words, one size does not fit all. Despite the variances, food safety in, in process systems is commonly addressed in the form of sanitary design. Ultimately, what does this boil down to? Equipment design, line installation, and minimizing of any product loss with clear attention to the equipment fit at all transition points. Shown here is a great example of how DeVille and FAM work together to provide processors of fresh produce with a complete solution to address a need for safe, reliable product feeding of the, in, in this case, the Treatise 180 fruits and vegetable dicer and to successfully receive the diced product and convey to downstream processes. With a keen focus on minimizing any potential food loss at each transition point, production applications may involve the simple filling of totes or quick transition to another location in the plant or transition to package, packaging systems or incorporate diced products into a production line for various prepared food operations. Ultimately, providing our clients with hygienically designed, reliable, easy to use solutions. Here is a representation of several of the leading food cutting solutions relating to shredding, dicing, and slicing food applications that we have to offer. Now let's take a closer look at Deville Technologies and ultimately who we are. We have 40 years of experience in sanitary design with a leading reputation in cheese and dairy related industries. We are a full service partner to our clients, including R&D, testing, design, consultative engineering and manage, ma manufacturing services. We focus on sanitary design and our machines are certified by the USDA. We are adept at integrating our solutions from product handling up to packaging. We champion our solutions. Rather than try to be 
everything to everyone, we focus our attention and center our efforts on food cutting processes. We offer a gold standard service and support teams, and we have a wonderful partnership with FAM here in North America. A little background on how this great relationship was established. The Bill's founder, Angelo Penta, began the collaboration with our partner FAM, headquartered in Belgium, back in the early 2000s. Both companies share core values and a philosophy of providing the very best food cutting solutions possible with a central focus on hygienic design. DeVille and FAM enjoy the, proce the process of joint development of new sanitary design cutting solutions. Today, DeVille is proud to be the exclusive value add distributor of FAM cutting solutions throughout North America. Just some closing thoughts. We are proud of the partnerships we have developed and fostered over many years of providing our food cutting solutions, service and support to a growing network of food processors. We are encouraged and motivated daily by the opportunity to contribute to the success and growth of the fresh produce industry. We welcome the opportunity to learn more about your respective operations and together identify ways in which we may provide added value to the important work you do of feeding the world. So in one phrase, DeVille and FAM, a laser focus on hygienic design, quality, safety, reliability, and gold standard ser service. So I thank you all for your kind attention and interest, and we take this opportunity to address any questions you may have. Anna, I'll turn things back over to you. Great. So if there are any, I don't see any questions coming in, but I did wanna thank you, Darren, for this wonderful and informative presentation. We, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.